What an adorable fall tree. All of them. Oh my gosh, look at that. Those colors are great. Maybe I didn't get the best view of it. Let's see. Oh, right there. So pretty, pretty. This just screams fall, doesn't it? Thought I was recording a minute ago. And then there are more commercial plantings of tulip trees. And then this cutie over here. Let's see if you can see him. So pretty. Mm, all in Washington. It's on AB. There's one down there. Look at that, how colorful that is. Oh, it's not showing up as well as as well as it looks. Tulip trees. Hmm. There's a big boy right there. It's in the 30s or 40s, I think. It looks warmer than it is. That's a pretty one. Let's go see that one. Let's cross over and go see it. Simply because it has a lot of leaves on it. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Wow. Mm -hmm. Those of you who followed me know, will know that that is the landfill. Yes. Yes, I rented an apartment right next to the landfill. I sure did. I don't know why. <laughs> two months, two months free rent, I think. <laughs> and that was substantial. That was $1,800 times two. That's a lot of money off. This is a water catchment. I don't think I'm saying it quite right, but they have a lot of these here. These little areas that are fenced off. Those are always familiar. You can always tell it's a landfill by all the pipes running along. All these people bought houses next to the landfill. I mean, this is all new. When I lived here in the, I lived here from 96 to 2003. And during then there was nothing out here but a golf course. And then, uh, when did I like, come back? 2010 to 2012. I don't know if these were here then either, all these homes. I mean, nobody wants to live next to a landfill. And yet here we are. Oh, you can see the top of that light post. Those are seagulls. We're that close that we have seagulls to the ocean. Oh, we're not far at all from the ocean. Um, whoa, if I had to guess. From salt water coming into Puget Sound would be 10, 10 miles tops. It's a three hour drive to the actual, actual coast. Oh, there are ducks and geese over there floating around in the catchment area. Here's some beautiful fall color. I think these are pear trees, Bradford pear. <laughs> these leaves are not crunchy. Just a little bit, but they're wet is what they are. And here, you wouldn't walk on them because it'd be slippery. You know me, I just love commercial plantings. They just have access to money and designers that the rest of us just don't. And these are still Bradford pears. So fall like. There's the big cheese. Let's see. Lots of snow on him. Mount Rainier. It's beautiful colors. What they did here is, uh, I'll show you. Over there are Douglas firs. Oopsies, right there. Those are native or whatever. I don't know if those are original. They look pretty short, but, uh, they would have leveled them all out. Leveled them all out to build all these houses. 
They don't leave any. Very inconvenient for builders. So then they replace them with these commercial plantings, which are, you know, beautiful in and of themselves. Just beautiful. I truly do wish I owned my home here, a home, even the home I did own. Uh, she can't. You just can't have everything. Well, I don't know about you, maybe you can, but I can't have everything. How about that? So one problem with home ownership is you know you can't control your neighbors. And you're in it, you're in it for the long haul. And if they rent the place or even if they are themselves uh, social people, shall we say? Shall we say social? This does not look like the other trees. Are these something different? Oh, let me get my, um, let me get my app out. These are all Bradford pears. Gosh, they're gorgeous. They probably bloom quite white in the spring. Anyway, see the moss growing? That is so Washington. That is so Washington. It doesn't look like somebody wants to take it off. I'm talking about on the fence line there. <laughs> Washington. See the moss grows here. Funny. Ah, Washington. I know these cars are gonna seem extremely loud and they feel really loud and really it's only two lanes. Anyway. I look at these homes and I kind of regret, well I don't, I regret not owning one, but can't afford it here, no. This is priced out of my range. No matter where I am, it's out of my range. As a retiree, it's a pirate canthus, isn't it? Yes, it is. Nice. See, the grass is still quite, quite green in November. I don't know if it ever really dies out. My hands are cold. I didn't bring gloves. I mean, I brought them with me, but I'm not wearing them because I thought it'd be warmer. It's a couple days before Thanksgiving. When you watch this, it may be after Thanksgiving. I apologize for not catching up on my videos. I'll either explain, have already explained to you why. Getting here was, you know, tiring. And, and then, uh, uh, I gotta get my computer out. It's not even out of its bag. I've got to hook up my various docks to hook up microphones and hook up the computer and hook it up to the monitor. And I just haven't really had the oomph to go messing around with my cords. I need to though. So today I'd like to do a video and I may just do it straight up on my laptop, just straight up on the laptop without using the larger screen for the, frankly, the more precise editing. I mean, this could be your neighbor right here. I'm way across the street and that dog is barking up a storm. It's a beautiful mountain. It's a volcano, you know, and it is active. It's an active volcano, meaning it's not dormant. Beauty. Beautiful. The fall sight. Oh my goodness, goodness. Should we find out what kind of tree this is? That would not be a Bradford pear, right? Oh, I would have guessed that was a maple. It's a sweet gum. Sweet gum. Sweet gum. Huh. I want to point out again the landfill, but. These are all blackberries. Oh, edible weeds all along. They are just wild here, wild. They would take over everything if they could. And you could eat them while they're taking everything over. So that would be cool. I saw this tree earlier and there's another one right next to it. They show up really, really well together. I'd like to know what they are. So let's let's do that. Let's take pictures of somebody's house. 
Yeah, we know everybody loves that. All right. I think we got it. This is a cherry plum, purple plum, cherry plum. And this is a sweet gum, just like the other one was. In about the same location, the outside of a corner uh, building. So it, it would suggest that's actually a commercial planting rather than the homeowner came out and planted that. I don't even know who owns all these side areas. Who do you think does? I suppose the Housing Association does. Like all of this. There's a definitely an easement. I don't know. This is a Siberian elm. Obviously the homeowners planted it. Also Asian elm or Asiatic elm, I can't remember. All right, I am not gonna put myself on camera because I don't even think I have eyeliner on. I barely have eyebrows. I will wait for this car to, say good, to pass to say goodbye to you today or this morning for this wonderful, wonderful fall walk. It is warming up nicely. It should be 50. Um, my dream of buying a bonsai is uh, fading fast. I don't think for me. Also, I don't think I'm gonna put any containers on my balcony right now. I'm only up here for about six weeks this time, so I'm sure what will happen at the end of July because I cannot support the apartment I live in. It's, it's absolutely, yeah, I can't stay there. The neighbors above are way, way too noisy in their activities of daily living. The female stomps in bare feet and there's nothing louder than a person stomping in bare feet when things aren't built well. you want to move here, doesn't it? <laughs> or not. Do you hear the seagulls? It sounds like we're at the ocean. thing I'm walking one last thing I'm famous last words I'm walking into the Sun so but these trees these tulip trees I know what it is now they remind me of candy corn the colors of candy corn I don't haven't had candy corn in a long time never really my favorite but I'm certainly eating it but all the beautiful colors just gorgeous. Let's see, we're walking into the sun. Let's see if we can get. Isn't that beautiful? Alright. Bye, guys.